get underway. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome back to Two Dunk Court here in this always desirable pocket of Hoppers Crossing. On behalf of the selling agents, Matthew Hayward and Michelle Cheek, who is the principal of Ray White at Werribee. Thank you so much for your attendance. We are looking forward to receiving your bid for what really is a neat package. Whether you are an investor or indeed an owner occupier of this property, and certainly its location is really well and truly putting a tick into your buying criteria boxes. But the main thing to really consider here this, here this afternoon is that the reserve price that we do have is well and truly in line with where you buyers have seen value for this property. We are always appreciative that not everyone can bid and buy on an unconditional basis. And I do know that we've got a number of conditional buyers for this property who are hoping, really, really hoping that the property does not sell under the hammer here this afternoon because they are wanting to literally put in an offer immediately post auction. However, if you can purchase unconditionally, you'll certainly take advantage of the very, very keen reserve price that I do have. We are selling subject to Victorian auction conditions, which simply do state that the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules and any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of the auction. The auction rules prohibit the auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for the property after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors have a very reasonable and realistic reserve price and as the auctioneer I will indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids, major disruptions by bidders and bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding. It does provide fines for this conduct. The rules do permit vendor bids, and the words that I will use during the call of the auction to indicate that I am making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid, and by law only I, as the auctioneer, can make a vendor bid. Now, inside the uh, house on the kitchen bench has been on display the contract of sale and vendor statement section 32. It is a really easy document to read through and understand, and once you have purchased this property, that is the document you'll then be literally after the auction, auction hanging around afterwards and signing off as the purchaser. Being that it is an auction, as you all know, it is unconditional in its nature. Five or 10% is your deposit or anywhere in between that amount. Settlement date is quite flexible, anywhere from 30 to 60 days from today's execution date. It is being sold on an as is, where is basis. It is being sold with vacant possession. The section 32 vendor statement does provide to you all of the outgoings applicable to the property and all of the services which are connected to the property. It's a really easy document, and as I said, that is the document. Once you've bought, you'll then be executing off as the purchaser. Or what, as you can all appreciate, it's a very, very neat package, this. The real thing that I do want to emphasize in this area here is in properties in this price point, no matter how good, bad, or indifferent the market may well be, no matter how low, high, or in-between interest rates are, Properties like this that are in this lower end of the spectrum will always appreciate in value. And when you have a look at the locational attributes that this area does have, and certainly then in conjunction with that real upward surge that this area has experienced in terms of its value, in terms of its real estate, well, that really does provide you as an investor or indeed an owner occupier with quite a safe haven. I know that a lot of you have looked at this property. It's sort of split. A lot of you are investors, but then a lot of you are looking at this property as owner occupation. Our location here, very, very close to shopping centres, local shops, schools, and public transport, interlinking traffic routes all nearby. And as I said, this area here really has experienced a lot of capital growth. And at this lower price point, that is certainly set to see it continue into the future. Bidders, buyers bid confidently, strongly. We really do have a very keen reserve price here this afternoon. You've seen the price guide that it has been advertised within. So therefore, in your own estimation, in your own opinion, what's it worth? I don't think you're an offer here this afternoon for number two, Dunk Court in Hoppers Crossing. Let's see how we go. And hope you get an offer on an unconditional basis. Old saying, goodbye, just need to put in a bit. Like to be able to do it for you, I won't put in a bit. I'll leave it yourself. See if I can get one from yourselves to start me away. Maybe buy it on the one bit if you can. 400, okay, there we go, at 400,000 and welcome into the bidding. It's at 400,000 now, welcome into the bidding, it's at four the call. At $400,000, I look to see an ice easy five or indeed a $10,000 rise, it's at four the call. At $400,000, an opening bid there now, it's at $400,000. Is there any further rise in advance? Only a nudge, nudge it north in either a five or a 10 if you like. 
400,000 now is the opening salvo, the opening bid fours the call at $400,000. Is there any further rise in advance above that opening bid of $400,000? Five will tend to call it back in your favour. Could we say 405 or 410? It's at four the call at 400,000. I'll call it down and give it three chances. Bid's right there and in front, first time, it's at $400,000. Not that far to go. Bids in front at 400,000 now on the first bid now. Second time of call at 400,000 now. Third final, are we sure we're done? Bids at 400,000, tempts you back into the bidding and on a, on a $5,000 bid increase. 405, could we say? How about five, sir? Could we say 405? Okay, 402. Welcome to the bidding at 402. There we go, bids in front. It's at 402,000. Can we call you back in at say 410 or 405? We've just taken a $2,000 bid increase. Congratulations, Sarah Madden. It's a $119,000. Well purchased. Thank you, everyone, for your 
here at Kenneth Street this afternoon. Congratulations to the buyer, the team from Ray White Werribee. Would love it very much to hear from you if you are wanting to sell or rent in the area. Happy weekend.